Hey everyone, it's Sandy and welcome to another video. Um, I'm going to be doing this um, layout for two things today. Today is a blog hop over at the Clip Kit uh, today and it's also Kit Reveal Day today. And we'll be revealing the uh, April Kit. So I'm also doing this um, layout for a challenge with Danielle Brown. Uh, we decided to do a challenge together to have white space on our page. So kind of deciding what I want to do with my layout and I got my Prima watercolors out. I love these. They're just so fun to keep on your desk. Uh, right now they're just so fun to play with and so tiny. I really, really like them. So I was going to use that polka dotted paper if you can see it over in the right hand corner, but I decided I want to go ahead and try and like mimic the polka dots on the page, you know, right here in the bottom right hand corner where I want to put my picture and stuff. So that's all I'm doing right now is I'm just using my Prima watercolors to make some random polka dots. Unfortunately, quite a bit does get covered up. I was thought I was going out further, but I wasn't so in the final pictures, you won't see it, but in my final layout, I did add a few more polka dots so you could see a little bit more of the colors. So I'm using that blah, blah, blah paper, which is an exclusive one for this month kit and I'm just matting my picture right there with it and then I'm gonna go ahead and find one more paper that has a lot of black on it and I'm gonna mat it one more time so that picture is just a picture with Isabel and my mom I think we were giving Gabby like her allergy shots or something and they were waiting for us in the car and Isabel decided to hop in the front seat so it was funny because when I came out it looks like she was driving my mom around so I just got a kick out of it and so there we go. I went ahead and put down my picture and then I got a piece of the washi tape strip and that came in the kit as well. And I'm just putting it down and it's polka dots too. It's the same as that paper. So this month the kit had featured the Goldie collection from Studio or from, let's see, is it Studio 7 or 7 Papers or something like that? 7 Papers, I think. Anyway, so now I pulled, uh, I got a strip off of one of the exclusives and I cut, it's a branding strip and I just cut it off and I'm going to go ahead and use this other piece of this Polaroid that I had framed with that blah, blah, blah paper. Uh, I used the other half in the, my previous layout and I had it laying on my desk so I decided to add it. I have these little black stickers and the one I put down, it says let's party because it just looks like Isabel's having a blast in the front driver's seat. I cut a label in half and I added it to the top cluster and there's not much more that I'm going to add to my layout actually since it was a challenge to like keep a lot of white space. Uh, I don't do too much embellishing. I do add a few more things like I added that smile which I cut up which I cut off from the cut apart sheet. I added a label there and I believe I'm going to do cut one more little thing off of that cut apart sheet there and add it to that top cluster. Um, yeah, and then I'm just adding some India ink, and that's it. I wanted to add way more India ink, and it that bot the top up there, like the top right. I really want to add more stuff. Like I just want to add stuff to the whole layout, but I'm trying to stick with the challenge of having white space. So, anyways, I like the way it came out in the end. It's just kind of like one of those things where you're like, I still want to add more, but I don't. So. Here we go, I think I, this is the other little piece that I add and I'm gonna add it to the top Polaroid right there. And then let's see, I don't, oh, I'm gonna add some stickers actually. And I love these alphas that came in the kit. Um, I'm gonna add one that says, let's see, I'm gonna put Let's Go Nana. And I love the alpha, they're also from the seven uh, papers collection as well. And you got different colors, just the fonts really fun on them. So I'm gonna add that to my layout as well. And then I, I had that little doily, of, or not doily, but that doodle kind of frame up there at the top cluster. And I'm going to add the other part right here at this um, bottom cluster. And that is it, I believe, for my layout. Yeah, so I should have some still pictures coming up. So be sure and check out um, the Click Kit blog hop. And you can um, start it off over at Click Kits. And be sure and make, leave comments on each of the people on the hop and you could win a kit this month. So anyways, here we go. Here's the pictures and I will catch you on the next layout. Thanks for watching. Bye.